something else that's, that's actually really, really rough is this Robin Leonard stuff. So he talked to Jesse Granger in The Athletic. Um, I have the article up here, again, by Jesse Granger. Leonard, who has been vaccinated, said the league promised more relaxed protocols if a team has at least 85% of its players vaccinated. However, after the required, the required timeline passed for those who got the vaccine, some reluctantly, the goalie added, no changes have been made according to Leonard. NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly told the Athletic V email that no such promises were made. This is a quote from Robin Leonard. Being lied to about things changing, the kind of force us to take the vaccine is unacceptable, Leonard said. And now that we've taken the vaccine, say now nah, we aren't changing anything because of competitive advantage is outrageous. A champion of mental health awareness after dealing with bipolar disorder for much of his life, Leonard uh, cited mental health as his chief concern as players continue to operate under the NHL's current COVID-19 protocols. He went as far as comparing the current state of things to being trapped in a prison. A uh, side note, Leonard apparently did apologize yeah. for making that reference. Um, and there's something else. It's not in this exact article, but I believe somewhere Leonard talked about how there was this like 20, 30 minute sort of broad like video sent to the players and teams about like the thinking of, 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 of COVID and everything that could happen like and, and the precautions they need to take. But in that, there was about a like 30 second bit with a hotline about mental health. Um, and it is something I think we like at trade deadline, we always forget about the fact that the what it means to a player. And again, Harmon Dial, I think, has an amazing article in The Athletic about players going through trades. Now, at the same time, let's remember that since January now, players have even at home cannot actually they're not allowed to go out i think they i don't think they can actually go to the grocery store themselves um and apparently family members are very much encouraged to do as little as possible um they can go to the arena and that they can't even play cards on the plane with their teammates um i am so with robin leonard on this and i think it's very easy to say, and I, I don't think Bill Daly is lying. No, no, he's lying. Let's be honest here. When the league didn't say anything. But let's be honest. The league definitely said this to them, but there was no actual, like, document. There was no legit paper promise made to the players. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't, I don't think the league – I don't think Bill Daly was necessarily necessarily lying, but I do think the fact that they sent them the NBA um, protocol, which which is true, clearly, like that is that's where it's mind boggling to me. We're wrapped up where you sent it to the players for what reason? What reason did you send that to the players? Because we knew, like, if if you knew that this was you weren't going to change anything why would you send it to the players mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense that doesn't make sense to me yeah there's a bit of inconsistencies here where they don't really kind of have a good grasp of what they want to accomplish with you know a set number of okay these are the protocols these are the rules this is what's going to be the inter, inter dialogue between team between like within your team and this is how things are going to be approached because honestly, like even with Leonard's comments, like I'm, I'm with him in the fact that I, I, I don't understand either the, no. any, any of these that if there's, you know, a set defined rules of this is how we're going to approach things. Because again, like it's just, it's, 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 it's something that I want more clarity on. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like and the NBA thing, Leonard tweeted the NBA example out and said, yeah. oh, I guess I'm making things up. Like, I, I just, it, it's just, mental health is just such a sensitive thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just, it's just another example of the league just, like, there's, be, like, the league, the NHL is, a, is boneheaded, right? But then there's just this this clear lack of, you know, just humanity with them for this kind of stuff. Yeah. And it, it's seriously, like, it pisses me off with them. It, it always does with them because they never seem to actually be in touch. And I get, like, the whole Batman lawyer thing. 
But you honestly just want to like grab him by the scuff of his collar and slap him up and say, dude, like, do you not realize what you're doing to people here? Like, imagine, like, some people are getting the COVID fatigue in Ontario right now. But, like, you know, you can go for a walk. You can go to a grocery store. The NHL players can't do that. Like, we gave the Capitals a lot of crap earlier in the year. Um, like, when, yeah, I think it was, like, um, Kuznetsov, Ovechkin, oh, and I had, had, on off, yeah. Yeah, had went into their own hotel room and they got suspended for it. Or playing cards. Yeah, basically suspended, put on the COVID list. But they were playing cards in their own hotel room. And, like, I know Ovechkin's wife said something about, like, antibodies and was like, ah, I don't know about that, but... I mean, like, even the things of, like, you're not allowed to, like, have dinner with your teammates in the hotel rooms. Like, you have to go to your separate one. I mean, at some point, and again, if they're – remember Rick Bonus got pulled out of the game because they, there was a false negative, but, like, most of Dallas had already been – like, Dallas had already been mostly vaccinated. Like, there is legit no reason why you can't adjust things. And the fact well, that there – there, there is a reason, though. Why? Be, be, because – they, they're he's they're not run the competitive advantage thing. If I'm the PA and the guys in the U.S. are allowed to do whatever the hell they want, while well, I'm stuck up in Canada, confined to my home, there's I would be very surprised if the PA PA stood pat. And I know it's a bogus thing. I know it's a crazy thing, and the circumstances are completely different. But that's the that's kind of the job of the PA. Like they're there to, they're the players union. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's, I'm not trying to argue it's, it's right or wrong, but I, I just think the NHL has to have some sense of idea that if they start changing rules for the guys in the U S the guys in here are going to be pissed. Do you know what? That's, I want to say something right now, but I, I can't because we can't swear. But man, like whatever. You just like, went through a PR battle over the summer between, or in the fall and the winter. That's that's the uh, that's my thinking. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just playing devil's advocate. What the CBA thing? The CBA thing and not being able to set a schedule properly while every other league managed to, with the exception of the MLB, every other league managed to put a schedule together and a full season together and the NHL and the NHLPA were battling over escrow. You think that's regular, like different. that's completely different from this. Though. No, it's not. If the NHLPA and NHL bat, go, go head in head again, it's going to be a PR nightmare for the NHL again. But, but see the problem with the whole like COVID stuff and the separation between the U S and the Canadian teams, that's on, that's on the entire Ontario government right now. Like, like Doug Ford went backwards on so many of his policies within right. like I think a couple of days. Like, like people will understand that. Like, like that is not a the scheduling was completely on the NHL and the PA itself. Right. COVID and that is like no that that is the the fault of 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 the nations in which they live in. Right. But who's like, the PA going to blame? What do you They're going like, to blame the league for changing the rules for the guys in the U.S. Unfortunately, that's one of those things of like, that's crap. Like, there's nothing. Again, that's that's. Yeah, no. The, the PA are gonna be like, oh, fine, this is. Listen, it's gonna be like you know. I don't know. We don't. We don't know, right? It's so bull crap. Like this. There's just so. There are a lot of people to blame. Her. Of course, like, I, I want more details. Teams, but like you shouldn't. They should not be holding back the American team. And then and then in the same car, I feel like we do this every week. Like Doug Ford is just so screwed up here in Ontario. Well, there in Ontario. Yeah, like, oh, well, Adam, where are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll be. Who there. is your premier there? Uh, Francois Legault. I think is how you say it. How's he doing? It's fine. And I mean, it's it could be worse. I mean, mm. I can get a haircut. I can, which I don't think people in Toronto itself have been able to do uh, since all like, of Ontario. All Alex, of Ontario. Just no, give yourself I mean, a haircut. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been but, doing. But like. You know, like there was a time in like certain places you could, but like yeah, the two weeks. Toronto area yeah. itself has been locked up since yeah. like November. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the playground thing and like trying to give cops more power than the law and the cops obviously were going to do it. Oh, remember when that was a thing? Law. Oh my gosh. And not to mention, it's like, yeah, you know what you should do after everything? Let's, and around the date of the George Floyd set, um, verdict, you know what we should do? Give police more power. 
Oh man, COVID's getting so annoying. And do you know what? Again, I feel like a moment for us to acknowledge. I feel terrible for the players. Um, I don't mm-hmm. think any of us can truly get what they're going through. Um, and like, I'm so sick of COVID. I'm so sick of it. I love hockey. Um, I feel for Robin Leonard. I don't, the league clearly messed with the players here too. Um, I, I will say like, I, I'm not surprised by this either. No. Because it's the NHL and they never follow through with something unless it is like, even if something's in the CBA, they still try and go back on it. Terrible league. Um, terrible league for so many reasons. There's a way to handle this. They're get, they could They're be better. Do it they right could be though. better. But we believe in them. The, there's a proper way to handle this. And all they had to do was say, well, we're going to talk to Robin Leonard. We're going to figure out where the miscommunication was. The fact that they didn't do that is very concerning. This is Uh, the same. Sorry, finish. No, I just, the fact that they didn't do it publicly. I don't know what they did privately. Maybe they did do that privately, but the fact that this, this came out and they didn't say, we are going to talk to Robin Leonard to figure out where this miscommunication went wrong. Suspicious. This is the league that has made like no effort to support a women's league. There is this the same league that can't work with the hockey diversity alliance. Uh, there is there is a a trail of breadcrumbs with the NHL to show how incompetent they are. About they are a, a terrible league at the end of the day. They really are. Um, they don't have to. They don't know how to handle player safety. They don't know how to figure out their officiating. Uh, they are. <sighs> Anyway, 